What's a good one? Some of you have may seen me posting a lot of stuff about the TGI Phantom 2 and information about it since I like to do research and sometimes triple my research before buying a certain thing that I do not know much about and also not have ever flown with before. I have fly, fly the ray, uh, well, flight with some Aussie uh, control things back in the past which is about 10 years ago so it might be well, it's going to be fun for me to try it again. Anyhow, um, got my hands on the DJI Phantom 2, which I got right here. And I also got my hands on a Simbus, uh, I believe it's called Simbus uh, H33D, which is a gimbal that's going to hold my GoPro in stable mode when I move around the uh, Phantom 2. So um, let's go ahead and unbox the Phantom 2. I'm just going to speed up the movie anyhow. Just gonna go to it. Okay, well, I decided not to speed up the video. I'm kind of like too excited uh, to open it and uh, put on some uh, first PC gaming stickers. The reason why I didn't go with white on the PC is because the Phantom 2 is already white. I'm probably gonna do something uh, to make it uh, glow out, you know, put some black in the background of the white uh, sticker so we will be able to see the PC logo when it's up in the air, so basically it's flying first piece again. Oh, that could be awesome, right? So uh, let's pack it and open it and also get some more lights as well. So you we can see what the hell is going on. I'm gonna figure out what to do here. I never really packed out a drone. And it's actually really light. The box itself is really light, so I'm really excited to uh, open it and figure it out. The thing is, I don't want to rip the paper apart. I'm going to try to see if I can do something like this. And it seems to be working as I want to. Oh, well, I'm already, already scratching the paper. Oh, here we go. I'm going to figure out what is this exactly. I think it's a manual probably. I'm going to open it up and here we go, yeah, it's some manual papers and some stickers, oh those stickers, I love stickers but I'm probably going to make my own there's red, uh, pink and there should be blue on it as well, I'm just probably going to make my own stickers since I got the sticker uh, cutter gonna put some bright orange in uh, the front of the drone and here we go oh that is my GTI Phantom 2 <laughs> awesome I cannot wait to get my hands out of flying and here we go oh it's so sexy oh it's so sexy I'm so freaking excited to uh, play around with it this actually looks really really nice so in the back have we have the battery and I've been reading up a lot of information on how to turn it off and turn it on and what you want to do is basically stick your hand under it in case uh, you will stick your hands under it gonna have it up there and I gotta remember where the camera is what you want to do is stick your hands under it and uh, figure out where uh, well not being hit by the um, controller well the the props itself the propellers so um, that's the drone and here's the remote receiver it's actually really light and actually feels really smooth and all that, more than I actually expect, expected. Normally when the, the other controls are used back in the past there's like some weight to it and this is something I need to get used to definitely. actually feels um, too smooth in a way and probably hope, hope there's a way to put some weight to them but that's probably just me. Um, and here I believe we got the battery and I need to get a scissor for this or probably cut a pencil. Here we go. I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna try to cut it out. Yes. No, nope, it's the power supply and some other stuff as well. Awesome. Here we go, yeah. Okay, that's the power supply. Which I'm not really gonna bother uh, showing you the power supply and the receiver. Well, there's a con uh, connector here on the bottom, which I uh, believe it's for this little thing here um, that you position in the thingy. I don't know exactly. Oh, it's oh, it's an adapter. Okay, here we go. Haven't really done an unboxing video in a while, so I'm a little bit. 
screwed. Okay, it's a couple of adapters for different countries and all that. Makes sense. Uh, I'm in Europe, so I need uh, this uh, particular cable to use and power up my battery for recharging. That is. And here we got some uh, tools to uh, put on the props. Um, and here we got some propellers. Um, and I was actually told, yeah, there's a uh, whole set of new propellers if you break them themselves as they written on to the GoPro, uh, GoPro on the Phantom. And what exactly is this? Oh, it's a screwdriver. Okay, for instance. So now we got the GoPro out and I'm just going to take these tools and put them back in the box. And now I'm going to unbox the, the Simuch, uh, the Simuch, uh, the Simuch um, H3 3D. Since uh, that's the one my GoPro is going to be uh, using, well, it's going to be put on, or sticked in, or whatever you want to call it. So here we go, going to slide it out and figure out how exactly to open it up. Okay, it's a whole box that way. Okay. Yes. And hopefully it will go. Oh, come on. Come on, I'm too excited to get it out and fly. I want to fly. So, one of the things that I was uh, reading up on, for example, when you're first time flying uh, the Simu, um, the Fensum, is do you want to be in an open area? And I think I'm going to do that tomorrow since uh, it's kind of getting late. So, uh, here we go. So, okay, it's double box. <laughs> nice. Okay, here we got the gimbal. Oh, I mean, uh, I don't know if it is the gimbal or what exactly this mount is called, but uh, I know it's uh, the one that's uh, making sure you're not getting uh, a, lot, uh, a lot of vibration going on. Um, I think here, oh, let's see, oh, I need to figure out how exactly to take this one out. It's kind of lit, okay. I'm a, I'm a little bit unsure how to take it out, I don't want to rush it. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do okay, okay, here it is. And here's the Senmus H3 3D, which is uh, when it's uh, power up, it will uh, hold my uh, GoPro steady. I believe it should look like this when uh, when it's uh, positioning on the Phantom. So I'm not really sure, but anyways, I'm gonna put. Well, anyways, uh, anyways, I'm saying anyways a lot because I'm too excited over this. Anyhow, I'm gonna stop the video right around here. I'm gonna put the, well, I'm gonna put the propellers on and do a, a time lapse with that. So, uh, see you guys in. Okay, I also pitch. forgot to mention. I think I actually got my hands on some prop guards, which is really recommended when you're a new person like me and also wanna protect the fans. Uh, well, the, the props, propellers, I was about to say fans, like it's uh, in a computer, right? That would be insane. Those things is basically uh, recommended, uh, especially when you're flying inside, um, to protect both the propeller and the environment around you. So I'm um, going to put those on as well.
So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video with the flight of the drone and me crashing it and I also shift out the props on it so uh, I could fly again and also order a new pair of props for it. So um, yeah, it happens crashing the first time and it was probably not a good idea to fly in such a close um, well, it's a little backyard. Anyhow, if you guys can see this, this is pretty much what happened um, on the props itself. Some of them got broken in the tip of it and also on the back. It could fly afterwards, but I felt like, hey, I need to change those because I don't really don't like the, the not equal balance and all that. So um, I will um, continue trying to learn to fly this thing and put some more videos up on me flying and hopefully not crashing so uh, I will see you guys in the next one and stay tuned for upcoming videos and take care